All right, guys, we're back. I'm your boy DeAnthony. I'm my boy Adon. My boy Christopher the Cons here, and we are Break Room Blitz, baby. My blitz. Just came back from seeing Get Out. Oh, get out of here, get out of man! Town. Get out. Don't wow. even go. <laughs> I know you guys loved it, but I'm yeah. kind of feeling like Peel. Jordan Peele shouldn't be making any more movies. So you know the yeah. title of the movie? I don't think you should be watching any more movies because that's absurd. <laughs> How saying, dare you? Get out. Jordan, yeah, you get I'm out. Saying. You get yeah. out. Get no. out now. You know what? No. <laughs> Sink. <laughs> Sink. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, guys. Honestly, I could I could be no further from the truth. This Man, this guy uh, <laughs> would have never thought that Peel would have even uh, gotten anywhere close to a movie like this. Right, I didn't know what he had it in him. Yeah. It was awesome. Oh my I probably, gosh. It was very, very it was original. Like so it was fun. Original. It was. It's just great. Yeah, definitely a fun movie. I, and it's weird because it's a thriller. It's you a know? thriller, and it's a you don't ever say that about thrillers. You know, but it's that it was a fun movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. we got Daniel Kaluuya, main character there. Mm-hmm. We got Allison Williams. We got Bradley Whitford, Kathleen Keener, Caleb Landry Jones, Betty Gabriel, and Lil Rel Howry. So yeah, what do you guys think? Do you guys know that that Jordan Peele? directed it going into the movie? Um, I didn't have a clue. I, I didn't I, know. I didn't know he directed it. I know he had the, something to do with it. I don't know if he was just writing it or something, but I, I saw his name come up in, in some aspect of the movie, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. I don't know what he's doing with it, but I didn't know he was going to take it that far. I had no idea until, like, the day before, the day of, something like that. I was watching a, a, a interview with him and Big Boy on the radio station, and... I was like, oh, maybe he got plays a part in this movie. And he's like, yeah, I wrote it and directed it. I'm like, God, Lee, <laughs> you wrote it and directed it? Pretty big part. Who's giving you these funds? Because <laughs> yeah. this is, I mean, this could have been a, a flop, guys. I mean, it could have been pretty much like the a, end of his directorial career. De- debut, yeah, his premiere. Yeah. I mean, but it took off. I mean, yeah. It, you know, honestly, it was a huge, because I, I did enjoy Keanu to an extent. Like, it, it had its moments, but this by far was a new tier of, Director, di- directorial debuts. Absolutely. You know so. what? It, it kind of gave me like a M. Night Shyamalan kind of vibe. I was but about it, to toss but, that. But, <laughs> but it was good. Yeah. You know? It wasn't yeah. any kind of like weird ending. Right. It was just like what you want an M. Night Shyamalan movie to be. Right. It was a complete movie. Yeah. Yes. It, was, it wasn't it was like all this hype good. and then let down. Right, right. It took me back to the, like the the Sixth Sense days where you walked out. You're like, that was great. Like exactly. same thing. Actually, I walked out of this movie a lot more fulfilled than I did with um with that one. So it was Sixth Sense. Yes. Yeah. <sighs> that's a hard. That's, it's been so long. I can't like compare it because I love my <laughs> Sixth Sense. But uh, this I'm sure he would appreciate you saying that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for the hats. Yeah. Can we compare it to anything? I can't really compare it to anything when I think of like. Yeah, thrillers. I, I mean, the the only thing I can really compare it to is like you know, hostage type movies. And I know we just finished watching Split, and it kind of had some elements of that in there, um, where we got like this mind kind of control going on. You know, all these elements with the mind. So it was a very um, uh, intelligent movie the way that it all played out. Um, but uh, and uh, you you do have a hostage type scenario thrown in there, and with it being a suspenseful thriller. Was it relatable? Would you guys relate to the movie at all? I related or to... Or was it like a black movie? No, I related I to on so, like yeah. what's going on. Like it just, I don't know, like for some reasons, like the whole racism thing that's going on, I kind of looked at it from that perspective. And I was like, yeah, man, like this is just straight up like, duh. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's where I related to that. And um, outside of that, I, I couldn't really go with it that much more. But right, right. Um, yeah. I mean, can I relate to it? I mean... Not really. I can't. It's hard for me to put myself in that in in, in that predicament or in those shoes. You know where. So it's you've just never like, been in an all white neighborhood and been scared. No. Well, um, I felt inclined to do pull out a lawnmower. I, I, I mean, I've I, 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 I felt a little awkward not being, you know, around you know people of my race or something like that. But I mean, like, Man, I usually live in Reno Valley. <sighs> Reno Valley. There used to yeah. be this house on the hill. Uh-huh. This, Dirt Hill, and I used to hate having to go by this house because I just felt like 
Maybe he had like a sniper or something. Oh dang! Because it was, I mean, it was a lot of racial tension. I got called the N word the first time ever in Marino Valley. Wow! So I was able to relate to the movie where you know you're just kind of not feeling too comfortable, right, right, around all these people. Yeah. So I was able to relate a lot, and it, it is a lot going on in this in this country with the yeah. racial tension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I feel like it didn't really play on that too much. Even when they had an opportunity to to say why we're doing this to you, they end up saying, "Oh, I don't know." Yeah, it's right. like defined. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah. I knew what it was. <laughs> right, right, exactly. Yeah. Well, see, that's the thing too. You know, during the whole the movie, I'm just thinking like, please don't play out like this because this is this that sucks. Yeah, yeah. And but it did, but it, it didn't, it didn't. But still, like, it, it was relatable to that sense of the common, the, the, the current, you know, yeah, yeah. issues that I, are thriving in it, our. It, it's perfect timing for a movie like this to come out, you know, and it, it's just one of those, like, you know suspenseful thriller movies that I, I feel like justified you know mm. like I just feel good about oh yeah yeah I felt good about it too I thought it was gonna be like a oh man right but you know there was an actual light at the end of the tunnel yeah. right right you know because a lot of those horror movies they always end with like someone that you didn't think was a part of the main scenario right, right. comes in ends up he is a part of it and then they never get away yeah, 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 yeah. And, you know, and so I, I think that's more in like a you know Jeepers Creepers kind of aspect or that Don't Breathe type style movie. You know? Right. So I I appreciated it. it. Definitely was relatable because uh, human trafficking is a real thing. It's a big yes. thing. Even if you don't want to admit it or think about it, it does happen all yeah. the time. Yeah. Like five hundred thousand kids get abducted every year. Where yeah. are these kids going? It, it, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. You know, and uh, who's unsolved. taking them? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so... These people yeah. are doing it. So all, all these movies that they're coming out with, you know, I, I'm hoping that it brings it to people's attention, you know? I was so too. It, it's like, you know, we, we saw that movie split and now we're seeing this one and, um, uh, who was it? Damn, what's her? Holly Berry, she's coming out with another movie soon where, uh, oh, yeah. her son gets taken from her. Oh, yeah. So, like, we, we have a lot though like a lot of those what if scenarios. Yeah, I hope that those issues do arise because you might hear it in the news for like two seconds and they move on to the cat in the tree. Right. You know, so <laughs> I really wish that they, the they do. Kardashians. Yeah. <laughs> I hope goodness. that those I issues hope they all arise. get kidnapped. Like seriously, we can do without them. <laughs> well, I saw a pretty funny they poster of Kanye and all the K uh, Kardashians around him, and then it's like get out. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm all for it. Bye. Yeah. Oh man, they got to hypnotize them so yeah, they, they hypnotize Kanye. <laughs> yeah, they probably won't get hypnotized because there's not much run up there anyway. So it's like, what are you gonna hypnotize? <laughs> it's too complicated. <laughs> so, was the acting on point or what? Oh man. Oh my gosh. <sighs> now that's just a whole other layer to why this movie is so perfect. Yeah. It's yes. Because, you know, the ability for you know, to see that... Now, this guy was balling, the main actor, or oh, yeah. uh, Daniel. You know, he was just letting these tears, tears run, yeah. and he just looked stone-faced. Like, it was actually happening to Eyes him. Eyes wide open, crying. Like, yeah. I All right, so... Would you guys ever let anyone hypnotize you? I'm not letting no one hypnotize me. Even if I did believe it was real, I don't really believe it's real, but I still wouldn't do it anyway. I think that there's, like... Um, certain circumstances where I would allow somebody to hypnotize me if um, if I ever needed to re recollect something, maybe something that I may have forgotten. Because um, you were drunk or something? Well, not necessarily if I was drunk, but maybe I was like, you know, put under for whatever reason, maybe surgery. I don't know. Who knows what? I don't know. But if Sounds I ever, like no circumstances. <laughs> certain, certain circumstances. But I mean, that's the thing. Like, it, it needs to be a really damn good... Um, you know, reason for me to be hypnotized, given giving away everything, my whole mind. I could die, you know? Yeah. You? Um, it, it's a circumstantial thing. I actually, I've heard a story of a, a friend of mine who's in the military, and one of his um, higher-ranking officers who, he told me this guy had, like, no humor, no, just a straight bar, and um, they had a show out in the base where they hypnotized them, and they had this guy literally, like, dancing and acting like a chicken, and he's like, he's all, I, I, he's all, honestly, dude, like, this guy would never do this stuff. He was such a straight, dark, and I'm like, so that started to make me think, like, you know, it, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it probably works. I'm pretty, I'm just like, I would never want to do it in front of a crowd, 
I'd want to be in a room and then have them videotape me and say, okay, like, this is what you did. I'd be like, okay, cool. I'm glad nobody saw that. Like, I don't yeah. know, man. If you were in your room by yourself, they might make you do some stuff you don't really want to They might make me sink man. in the couch. Yeah. And <laughs> exactly. But well, I, you, know just, what, I, you know, when you brought up something military, I thought you were going to say, like, you know, they hypnotized him because he had post-traumatic stress no, disorder no. or something. You know, and just to kind of get over that, there, there are people with, like, mental illnesses that I think uh, hypnosis could be beneficial. Maybe. I just, I don't know. I, I I think whatever goes on in your mind is, like, spiritual as well. And I just don't like that. I don't yeah. want to be put in no dark room mm-hmm. where I can't reach. I'm oh, like, man. what the hell? <laughs> the I don't want to that. Is like scary. That. that is scary. <laughs> no, I'm good. And that's the thing, too, is you're almost, like, locking up parts of your mind. What happens when those pieces become unlocked? Because the brain's a very powerful thing. Right. So it will eventually find a way to get that out. You can't hide from that very long, and that's why I'm pretty sure they don't use hypnotism for it. I would assume that at least. Yeah, and, and I, I'm glad that they actually put uh, triggers in the movie for them uh, being oh, out of that. man, those triggers was... So in the trailer, yeah, they did yeah. show, um, you know, uh, Daniel's character took a picture of the one dude, and he just like was like, get out, get out, and his nose was bleeding. Yeah. Right. So... I mean, yeah, they, yeah. I, they definitely needed that, and, and that's cool because it, it it showed that you know even though it's something that's never been done, it's not perfect. Exactly. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. so there are some flaws. It is made by humans, so I yeah. kind of did like that. The mind's so complicated. So that's funny you brought up the trailer. Mm-hmm. Did the trailer match what we saw in the movie, or was it deceitful? I think a lot of trailers are like that these days. There is, you know, and then sometimes there are trailers that are like way too long and show a lot. And there are trailers that are way too short, and then we right. don't know nothing. Yeah. But this one, it showed a perfect amount. Um, there was a little glimpse of something that they showed in the trailer that we didn't see in the movie. But uh, oh yeah, the the, part, uh, the reindeer, the the skeleton of the reindeer, or whatever. Was yeah. Like, ah. Yeah, I thought they were going to show that. I was looking forward to that the whole time, but they didn't. Yeah, they did that with Rogue One too, like the whole like oh, you know, Rogue One is totally it. different. Yeah, I'm just saying, all I'm saying though is there's a difference between that movie and this movie in the sense where it bothered me in Rogue One, it didn't bother me at all in this movie. This right, movie no. did too yeah. good of a job for me to sit there and, and pick it like a, Rogue One. I was like, no, I need to hear her say the line. And yeah, she didn't say the line. <laughs> yeah, and I yeah, rebelled. Heard it a thousand times. So I right. don't care. I need you put it in the preview. I need to see it. Like, right, <laughs> right. If if they put um you know that whole sync thing in the trailer and I didn't see it in the movie, I would have been upset. Yeah, I would have been like, oh, no, yeah. no, yeah. that's pretty right. pivotal. Right. Yeah. So, but that that's actually shows how good of a job that uh, the peel did is the fact that. I don't care what was in the trailer. This movie far surpassed my expectations. Yeah, I think it was like 98% there in the trailer to the movie ratio. Yeah, yeah I would say that. You know? I would say that. And, and that matters to me. So that's why I brought it up. It's a, it's a huge issue. Because I'm like, this is the reason why I went to the movies. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. So what you guys get on that trailer is what you're going to get in the movie. Right, right. So, and then some. Oh, and then some. Yeah. It's Honestly. going to blow your mind. You're going to be like, where is this going? <laughs> yeah. And you're going to be, it's going to be an emotional roller coaster for sure. Right. So, are we recommending this movie to anyone? Highly recommend. Hail to the year. If there's a movie that you go see this month, make it this one. There's a lot of getting out here. See, you gotta get out of your house, <laughs> get in your car, get out of your car, get in the theater. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> get your butt in the theater to watch this. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm it's definitely gonna it. recommend it. It was something that we've been looking forward to for probably like six months now. Yeah, yeah we like first that. showed me the trailer. I'm like, this looks really trippy and interesting. Yeah. So. Peel, you did a very good job, man. I want to see another one. I want to, yeah. yeah. You make them, and I'll see them. I'm just letting you know. You just, you just hit your spectrum here to a higher level. So don't, don't start doing this. Yeah. (laughs) And I'm sure if you get a bigger, bigger budget, it's probably gonna be even better. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, I need Stinky Lisa. I've been looking for it to download for a ringtone. I can't find it anywhere. Like I need Stinky Lisa. Best song in the world. Even the soundtrack was just weird. <laughs> I, I like, think if, if they're going to get nominated for anything, then at least they're going to have an original score to be, yeah. you know, uh, yeah. nominated yeah. for. Because that, that was kind of weird and, like, eerie. So Unfortunately, yeah. I feel like the movies in the beginning of the year don't ever be remembered <sighs> for the Oscars or whatever. There's a few that I thought should have been in there, but they were like, nope, only the ones at the very end. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah. They, okay. They sniped the Oscars. Whatever is in the like middle, the middle <laughs> in, your, in your mind is what you go with. You know what really trips me out is these guys came from YouTube. Started off at YouTube and worked their way up, and now they're doing this. Like, that's one thing I've heard really you say that a few times. What do you mean by that? I mean, they started off doing just short films on YouTube. 
they got money for that. They got acknowledgement, and then they started moving up the spectrum and started doing. Their, this is technically I don't want to say it's an indie film, but it's not a huge major motion production. It's not done by a corporation production. This is all underneath that banner, and it's that's what I love about it is it's got its originality. There's nothing like out this out there, period. But to see them come from YouTube all the way up to this spectrum and have that originality. But you know they were on yeah, that, on yeah. on uh, Mad TV. Cam Pill? Yeah. Well, they started off their own personal stuff on YouTube. That's what got popular. Mm, I feel cool. that that was much stronger. They were... I haven't seen anything. I, I mean, I'm going to go, because they used to do skits together on Matt mm -hmm. TV all the time. This is the, the, I only noticed them from YouTube. Never noticed them on Matt TV. I, I didn't TV. know that they were on Matt TV either. I stopped watching Matt TV a while, though. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. It, it wasn't as funny anymore. It wasn't yeah. doing the job. I remember, you know, uh, Comedy I can't Central. Believe you guys and right now. Boom. Yeah, and not to mention Mad TV once again is, is the whole corporation thing. Like they that's all, they have their method of madness. The YouTube was all them. All right, question: Have you guys seen them on YouTube? Please let us know <laughs> if we are right or wrong here. I've never seen him on on YouTube. I know him from back in the day <laughs> on Mad TV. Like most people know, <laughs> don't know Mad TV. Mm, I'm surprised you, you don't know that. One. I know Mad TV. I just don't know them. From yeah, that. Uh, they, that's how they even got together. As a, oh. That's cool. Golly! So... Well, I agree to disagree. Let, agree to disagree. Question of the day. Will you let someone hypnotize you? Any circumstance? Is this something you want to do for fun? Or you need to hash out some memories to get over your craziness? Would you let them hypnotize you? Let us know, guys. All right, that's our review. I'm your boy, DeAnthony. Adan. Chris DeConch. We're out, baby. Later, guys. Peace.